Hey YouTube, Jim here. Welcome to Top 10 Archive. YouTube has given birth to many famous faces, and some of the biggest creators are now as well known as the biggest movie and TV celebrities. But there's a darker side to this video sharing platform, and some disturbed individuals use it to share their warped views and sinister ideology. In today's archive, we're looking at both sides to uncover the top 10 YouTubers who went to jail. Be warned, some of the stories in today's video may be upsetting for some viewers. But before we get started, why not become an archivist today by clicking that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. If you end up enjoying this video, let us know by giving it a thumbs up and in the comments section, tell us which YouTuber shocked you the most. Number 10. Austin Jones In 2017, Austin Jones was arrested in Chicago's O'Hare Airport while returning from a concert in Poland. Jones was best known for his covers of songs by the likes of Justin Bieber and Fall Out Boy and had over 500,000 subscribers. What most of his fans didn't know, though, is that Jones was secretly soliciting sexually explicit photos from underage fans. Two victims came forward with claims that Jones had asked them to send videos, even though he knew they were only 14 and 15 years old. Jones himself was 24 at the time. This wasn't the first time Jones had found himself in hot water for his troubling behavior. In 2015, allegations surfaced that he had lied about his age to get twerking videos from underage girls. He issued a lengthy apology, which seemed to get him off the hook. This time, an apology alone won't get him out of trouble. Jones was sentenced to 10 years in prison for his crimes. Number 9. Vitaly Zdorovetsky Vitaly Zdorovetsky's YouTube channel has almost 10 million subscribers, and he posts prank videos every week. His craziest stunts so far have included the video Miami Zombie Attack Prank, where Zdorovetsky dressed up as a zombie to frighten people in Miami, and his gold digger prank, where a woman ignores him until she starts to believe that he has a Lamborghini sports car. As popular as his pranks may be, the cops certainly aren't laughing, and Sidorovetsky has been arrested on more than one occasion. In 2016, he was arrested for climbing the Hollywood sign as part of a stunt, and in the same year, he was arrested again for streaking during Game 4 of the NBA Finals. But the most serious arrest was in 2012, when Zdorovetsky only had 100,000 subscribers. It was the Russian hitman prank that got him into trouble. In the prank, Zdorovetsky approaches a man and tells him he has 60 seconds to get away from a briefcase that he's placing on the ground. After revealing it was a prank, the police were called and Zdorovetsky was arrested facing a maximum of 15 years in prison for threatening to detonate a bomb. Number 8. Logan Paul Everyone knows Logan Paul, right? He's one of YouTube's best-known personalities, and along with his brother Jake, he gets up to lots of hilarious capers and then posts videos about them. But Logan and Jake allegedly took their shenanigans too far in Italy in 2017, and Logan claims he was actually arrested. The brothers were flying drones close to Rome's Colosseum when one of them malfunctioned and landed close to the historical site. Apparently, the Italian military and police were not happy and took Logan into custody. In the video, it looks as though Logan is sitting in a police station, but the details of the case are pretty vague, and it's never been confirmed by anyone else that the arrest actually happened. Do you believe Logan? Let me know in the comments. Number 7. Candy Johnson Candy Johnson is a hugely popular makeup artist and YouTuber with almost 4 million subscribers to her name. Back in 2010, she found herself facing two criminal charges regarding her 13-year-old son. The first was for child endangerment when he was found home alone while Johnson was out of town on a business trip. The second was for not making her son attend middle school despite receiving dozens of letters regarding his truancy. 
Johnson pleaded guilty to the truancy charges in order for the endangerment charge to be dropped, and she received a 90-day suspended sentence and a $130 fine. Johnson provoked even more controversy when it was revealed that she asked her fans for contributions to pay for her legal fees. She received thousands of dollars, which many said was more than she actually needed. Number six, Brandon Carter. Brandon Carter is a widely respected fitness expert and his YouTube channel currently has close to 800,000 subscribers. But he almost lost everything when he and fellow YouTuber Connor Murphy staged a prank that quickly got out of hand. Carter and Murphy had planned to stage a fake fight on 6th Street in Austin, Texas. The plan was to pretend to fight for a couple of minutes before breaking out into a dance. But that's not how it went down. Austin police saw the fight and tackled Carter and Murphy to the ground. They were unaware that it was staged, so they went at the YouTubers with their full force. What happened next, though, is pretty odd. Murphy was let go, but Carter was arrested for resisting arrest. Take a look at the footage. He doesn't seem to be resisting, does he? Carter remained in jail for months for unknown reasons while Murphy went free. Number 5. Mike Lombardo Mike Lombardo is another YouTube musician who got caught in possession of child pornography. Much like Austin Jones, whom we've already mentioned, Lombardo was soliciting nude images from underage fans. Lombardo was well known for posting piano songs on his YouTube channel, and before his conviction, he released an EP and an LP and gained over 20,000 subscribers. He even landed a record deal with DFTBA Records. Lombardo was arrested in July 2012 after a complaint was filed over four counts of child pornography. It was alleged that he had exchanged nude photos with underage fans, and in 2013, Lombardo pleaded guilty to soliciting images from six minors. He was sentenced to five years in federal prison for his crimes. Number 4. Curtis Lepore Curtis Lepore is a well-known Viner and YouTuber who dated fellow Viner Jesse Smiles for a few months in 2013. Their fans were obsessed with their relationship, and the pair gained even more success through their well-documented love affair. But their so-called fairy tale romance abruptly ended when Lepore was charged with raping Jesse. Jesse said that she had hit her head in an accident while filming a Vine, and she felt dizzy, so she went to sleep. When she woke up, Lepore was raping her. Lepore pleaded guilty to the attack, but only served 24 days of community service. His YouTube channel is still up and running, and he has a huge army of fans despite what he did. Jesse Smiles is also hugely successful and bravely uses her platform to support other survivors of sexual assault. Number 3. Trey Eric Sessler Trey Eric Sessler is the man behind Lenscap Productions, a channel with 14,000 subscribers. In his videos, Sessler mainly reviews, shows, and shares opinions on various topics. He also made a short horror film, which in hindsight might have been the first clue to the murderous instincts he was hiding all along. In March 2012, Sessler, who was 22 at the time, killed his mother, father, and brother in his home in Texas. All three of his family members have been shot multiple times, and there was allegedly writing on the walls saying things like, God forgive me, I cannot forgive myself. Sessler is said to have told police that he killed his family because he didn't want them to know about the Columbine-style attack that he was planning on a local school. Sessler was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. Number 2. Jared Lee Loftner Before gaining infamy as a mass murderer, Jared Lee Loftner was best known for his YouTube channel, Class It Up 10 where he posted strange and disturbing videos about religion, mind tricks, and the government. On January 8, 2011, Loeffner shot and killed six people in Arizona. His original target was U.S. Representative Gabrielle Giffords, whom he severely injured. Friends say that Loeffner had harbored a long-standing dislike for Giffords because he thought that she was fake and that women should not hold positions of power. 
as well as the six fatalities, 13 other people were injured in the attack. Loeffner pleaded guilty to 19 separate counts, including the attempted assassination of a member of Congress and was sentenced to seven consecutive life sentences plus 140 years in prison without parole. Number one, Pekka Eric Ovnen. Pekka Eric Ovnen is better known as the YouTube killer following a school shooting in which eight people died. Ovnen had two YouTube accounts, Sturmgeist89 and Natural Selector 89 which he used to upload videos about school shootings and other violent incidents. 18-year-old Avanon entered Jokela High School in Finland on the morning of November 7, 2007, armed with a semi-automatic pistol. He shot nine people, including the head teacher whom he murdered in full view of a group of students. Avanon also tried to burn the school down by pouring a mixture of oil and gasoline on corridor walls, but thankfully he failed to ignite the mixture. Twelve others were injured in the attack, which only ended when Avanon turned the gun on himself. He later died of his injuries in a hospital, avoiding arrest, but paying the ultimate price for his crimes. This is Avanon's final video upload. It shows him holding a gun, along with an image of the school where he staged his brutal attack. Thanks for watching. What did you think of these YouTubers' criminal activities? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and click the notifications bell to stay up with the latest happenings on Top 10 Archive. Oh yeah, be sure to give this video a thumbs up.